listen everybody to the words I have to say Better get ready Because the Lord is coming one day Thank you for tuning in to the Prophet Daniel's Report. This is Daniel White IV, the eldest son of Daniel White III. The intro music that you just heard is my late grandfather, Daniel White Jr., singing a song titled Get Ready. Today, my father, Daniel White III, is going to share with you news and information relating to biblical prophecy so that you can be prepared for the second coming of Jesus Christ. Daniel White III is the national best-selling author of over 20 books, including Just Jesus and The Prayer Motivator. He has spoken in meetings across the United States and in 23 foreign countries, and is the president of Gospelite Society and Torch Ministries International. Now, here's your host, Daniel White III. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Prophet Daniel's Report. This is report number 316. My name is Daniel White III, here to remind you that Jesus Christ is coming back soon and that you need to be prepared. This broadcast is not about predictions nor is it about setting dates as some foolishly have done in the past. However, it is all about preparation. First today, let's look at some signs of his coming in the news. The disciples asked Jesus Christ in Matthew 24, 3, What shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? Jesus Christ then went on to give them and us clear signs that show us when we can begin to expect to see the coming of the Lord and the end of the world as we know it. Looking at world events through the lens of the Word of God, let's look at some headlines from today's news that point to the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. First up today, according to the Times of Israel, despite signals that Iran and the U.S. were working towards a nuclear deal, National Security Advisor Susan Rice said Sunday, that sanctions against the Islamic Republic would remain in place until the U.S. and its allies are satisfied Iran is not pursuing nuclear weapons. Rice said in an interview with CNN, obviously we and others in the international community have every reason to be skeptical of that and we need to test it and any agreement must be fully verifiable and enforceable. She said it had been clear to Iran that it had to meet its international obligations under Security Council resolutions and that the sanctions would remain until those obligations were satisfied. Second today, according to Reuters, the death toll from an earthquake in southwestern Pakistan has reached 515 as insurgent attacks threaten relief efforts and survivors complain of lack of shelter from a scorching sun. A 6.8 magnitude aftershock jolted the same region on Saturday, bringing down more buildings amid ongoing search and rescue efforts. Local officials said by telephone it was likely the second quake had caused more deaths. Bodies are still being discovered in houses whose mud walls and wooden roof beams had collapsed. Third, today, according to the Washington Post, the UN Security Council voted unanimously late Friday to approve an ambitious plan requiring Syria to surrender its chemical weapons for destruction. The first major diplomatic milestone reached more than two years after the start of the Syrian conflict. 
the resolution adopted by a vote of 15 to 0 does not spell out what penalties the government in Damascus might face if it doesn't comply. U.S. and European diplomats conceded that some of their toughest wording aimed at compelling Syria to obey the Council's demands and holding perpetrators uh, to account for using chemical weapons was removed from the final resolution at Russia's insistence. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bible says in 1 John 3, 2, Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it doeth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. I want to read that again in your hearing. The Bible says in 1 John 3, 2, Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it doeth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. You can read these stories in more detail and get more Second Coming related news on our website at secondcomingherald.com. Now it is time for Prophecy Boot Camp. Prophecy Boot Camp is where we deal with the basics of prophecy, the second coming of Christ, and what will happen in the future according to the Bible, the Word of God. Our aim here is not to make predictions, but to help you get prepared by understanding how things will unfold in the end times. Our topic for today is titled, The Presence, Part 1. The Presence, Part 1. From Dr. John MacArthur's book, The Second Coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Revelation 21.3 says, And I heard a great voice out of heaven, saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. This is what heaven is all about. God fully dwelling with men in total unveiled glory. All restrictions are gone, and the three-dimensional world flies apart, enabling us to enter into the dimension of God's presence. Let me tell you something. Dr. MacArthur goes on to say, let me tell you something. The reason the New Jerusalem will be the crown jewel of the new heaven and the new earth is because in the midst of the city will be the very presence of God himself in blazing glory. Verse 22 of this same chapter says, And I saw no temple in it, the new Jerusalem, for the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are the temple of it. Do you know what a temple is for? A temple is to hold the symbol of God's presence. If his presence is there, there is no need for a symbol is there. It's like the difference between having a picture of someone and actually being with them. Once you're with them, you don't need to look at their picture, do you? When we get to heaven, we're not going to need any kind of symbol of God's presence because his living presence will be there. We will continue looking at this topic on our next broadcast, If the Lord Tarries is Coming and We Live. In closing, let's consider what God wants you and I to do in light of his second coming. Jesus Christ said in Luke 19.13 to occupy till I come. Please listen to the following from Dr. Chuck Swindoll on how to read the book of Revelation. He goes on to say, when we grasp the power of prophetic truth, it will change our perspective on our everyday lives. While he was in the throne room of God, John cared nothing for his next meal, for the tasks he left unfinished in his home church at Ephesus, or for the trials and tribulations of the persecution he had endured. He didn't worry about whether or not he left the toaster on, whether his portfolio was performing, or even whether his children would ever come back to the Lord. 
his response leads us to timeless truths that will help us uh, put life into perspective in the light of eternity. Ladies and gentlemen, we should not ignore the future. Events are coming that must take place. If God holds the timing and outworking of the end times in his hand, then he also controls all the events leading up to them. As the beginning and the end, he also has complete authority over everything in between. We are moving continually toward the future and choosing to ignore the impact of his plan on our own lives will lead to frustration and disappointment. By the grace of God, beloved, we will continue looking at this topic in our next broadcast, If the Lord Tarras is Coming and We Live. Holy Father God, we pray for those who do not know you, that you would open their blinded eyes, unstop their deaf ears, and save their souls. Lord, help us to stand in the gap while we await your second coming. In Jesus Christ's name we pray and for his sake. Amen. Thanks for tuning in to the Prophet Daniel's Report. Remember, you can stay up to date with prophecy news and events on our website at secondcomingherald.com. If you would like to know more about accepting Jesus Christ as your Savior, what to do after salvation, or looking for a good church home, please visit gospelitesociety.com for more information. This radio broadcast can be heard daily on Live 365, bcnnradio7.com, gospelightworldradio.com, Buzzsprout, iTunes, Blog Talk Radio, and can be downloaded from numerous outlets online. God bless, and until next time, keep looking up for your redemption draw if not. Now, here's a song that will encourage you as you await Christ's return. You got to get your business straight.